Hello everyone, Google has finally opened its program for data analytics apprenticeship March 2025. I'll be applying through this role for data analytics and I'll be sharing my insights, how I made my resume for this program and what are the responsibilities of this role? What is the basic uh, education qualification required? What all resources I have followed and also how to make your resume according to the roles and responsibilities. So let's get started. The first thing is I'll explain you about the roles and responsibility of this apprenticeship program. So the duration is for 24 months. You will be working as an apprenticeship or an intern. It will be for a good number of two years. The location will be Hyderabad, Kurgaon, Mumbai, or Bangalore, and you will be getting relocation assistance. Commitment will be 40 hours a week. Uh, it means eight hours a day with experience as well as you'll be getting learnings also. It's not a permanent job, guys. It's just an apprenticeship. So basic requirements, <clears throat> so you'll be a bachelor, you should have a bachelor's degree or similar practical experience. You should be having one year of experience into data analytics. Either you should be having an experience or you should be working in some kind of projects of data analytics, either any any of them. After that, you'll be, you must have a basic understanding of Google tools like Gmail, Docs, Sheets, etc. You should be able to communicate in English. That's a basic requirement. And preferred skills, you should be having knowledge of SQL, basic programming of database. I tell you, if you don't have any basic understanding of SQL and if you want to learn about SQL, just head to this course, guys. It's from Apna College, uh, where it teaches you about one of the best teacher, uh, Shraddha Ma'am, who has taught us about um, SQL. So you can head to this course. This is one of the wonderful courses I have completed. It's about three hours, but by writing the notes and everything, it will take you a good number of four to five, six hours. So I have completed within six hours. So you can go ahead and check this out if you want to learn about SQL. Uh, then talking about, uh, you should be interested with numbers, data patterns, and solving problems, able to work independently. That is another requirement. You should have a strong uh, problem solving and critical thinking skills. I mean, like logical thinking only change. That's a basic need. And if you don't have all the skills, then I'll also recommend you one course, which I have completed that is from, Coursera, uh, where it was one of the wonderful course where I understood about basic of data analytics and how it works. So you can definitely check out this course. I just shared it on LinkedIn also. So definitely you can check out this course. Okay, this is the course which I completed from Coursera. It is properly from Google. Google employees have taught this course and it's a wonderful course, guys. You'll be learning about basic of data analytics and everything. So once you get it over there, then definitely you'll be having a basic understanding of Google, uh, I mean, data analytics projects and everything. Apart from that, what your responsibility will be uh, looking into data, spotting the errors and trends and finding the insights of data, then documentation, custom reports, preferring specific analysis. You are supposed to do analysis on data. So you should have a good understanding of problem solving. Also, you should have the level of learning and developing data skills to hands-on projects and training. So I'll tell you, these are the basic responsibilities which are, uh, which you should go through. And uh, you must be wondering why I'm recommending you this all courses, because this will start in March 2025. I mean, the actual process will start once they filter out resumes and everything will get on. But meanwhile, what you can do is, I mean, you have a good number of six, seven months. So what you can do is you can go through this course, learn about basic of data analytics so that it will be easy for you while giving an interview. And if you want to learn about the SQL, then definitely highly recommended this. So what you can do is once you complete this SQL course, you can go to the Hacker, Hacker Earth, right? Yeah, Hacker Earth. So if you complete certain problems and everything, so they will give you a certification and that's very important, guys. So you can just complete those certification also. It's just free of course. You have to just solve few problems and get a certi certification from Hacker Earth. So that's a wonderful thing what you can do. And apart from that, in next video, I'll be uploading about my resume also, how I have filtered it out according to the rules and responsibilities. Soon you'll be seeing that video also, because even I'll be applying for this course. Just let me check how the system works. So I have to click it on apply. Mm, yeah, then I had to fill all my basic details, then volunteer rules and responsibilities, information, career paths and everything. So once I continue over here, I think once I complete this whole process, I'll be getting a basic test. It will be a logical reasoning test where you have to complete. And once you complete that test, then you'll be 
you know your uh, i mean uh, you'll be getting to this uh, next process that is a basic screening of telephonic interview what you'll be having and again the profile will be taken forward so guys let's apply this together hope for the best i'll be sharing a resume of mine i'll be telling you how i have filtered it out in the next video so till then thank you so much for watching this video guys let's make it happen let's get into google uh, for this role of google apprenticeship thank you so much guys for watching this video chalo see you bye